In the glitzy world of entertainment, stars are born, stories are woven, and drama Seven unfolds. Seven-time Grammy nominee Olivia Rodrigo, the platinum-selling singer, now about to set off on a world tour. Today, we embark on a journey through the riveting life of one such star who has captured hearts and headlines Olivia alike. Olivia Rodrigo is a triple threat. She can sing, she can act, and she takes her songwriting very seriously. Welcome to the tale of Olivia Rodrigo, a journey that began in the enchanting realm of Disney and is now on the cusp of an exciting new chapter with her new album, Guts. As we delve into the chapters of her life, we'll uncover the secrets the controversies, and the dreams that have shaped Olivia into the powerhouse she is today. But before we dive into the drama and the twists, let's set the stage for the epic saga that is Olivia Rodrigo's life story. Before her chart-topping fame, Olivia's talent emerged in school theater. Hi, I'm Olivia Rodrigo. From California. I just want to sing a little song to my friends and family. Disney showcased her in Bizard Vark for three seasons. In February 2019, she starred in High School Musical, the musical, the series. Her musical gift became evident with All I Want, a song she wrote and performed in the Disney Plus series. This track's triumph shot Olivia onto the charts and garnered her a U.S. gold record. Amongst glamour, child stars endured the spotlight's intensity. Yet Olivia's journey was marked by more than applause. Gossip, speculation, and whispers trailed her. Every social media post, every relationship was dissected a life exposed to rumors the drama extended beyond screens to real-life connections. Alleged feuds and concealed romances only added to the intrigue. Controversies simmered beneath the surface, challenging the glossy image often associated with the world of Disney. Olivia Rodrigo's roots added depth to her identity. Born on February 20, 2003, in California, she grew up with a unique blend of heritage, her mother's German and Irish descent, coupled with her father's Filipino roots, painted a diverse tapestry within her. Interestingly, Olivia was homeschooled at her parents' request, a contrast to the academic setting of High School Musical, the series. Despite her unconventional education, she fully embraced her American citizenship. As Olivia emerged from the Disney realm, anticipation grew. Little did we know, her path was about to reshape the music industry. Olivia was poised to swap scripted lines for heartfelt lyrics, ready to captivate us once more. The emotional intensity of Driver's License resonated across the music industry, transforming Olivia Rodrigo's journey into an unexpected turn that would reshape her career forever. As her heartbreak fueled her songwriting, the release of Driver's License wasn't just a debut single. It was a seismic event that sent shockwaves through the music industry and beyond. The song's relatable lyrics and Olivia's raw, soulful delivery struck a chord with millions. You're listening to the most popular song on the planet. It's Driver's License by Olivia Rodrigo. Suddenly, everyone had a theory about the real-life inspiration behind the heart-wrenching ballad. The drama that had fueled Olivia's creative fire was now fueling the curiosity of fans and gossip mongers alike. Fans speculate that Driver's License is about their breakup, and a few lyrics in particular point to a love triangle involving another Disney star, Sabrina Carpenter. And you're probably with that blonde girl, who always made me doubt. She's so much older than me. She's everything I'm insecure about. Rodrigo sings on the track in a soft, silky, 
pained voice. Neither actor has confirmed or denied the theories, but Bassett released his own single Lie, Lie, Lie and car-themed music video. It seems his song was written pre-relationship, but it is awfully convenient release timing. Carpenter, who may be the blonde in question, released her own song that seems to be responding to driver's license with lyrics like, Maybe you didn't mean it. Maybe blonde was the only rhyme, and don't drive yourself insane. It won't always be this way. Some fans are rushing to defend Rodrigo, pointing out that her song didn't attack Carpenter, but rather expressed Rodrigo's own insecurities. Either way, the Disney love triangle plot thickens, as driver's license dominated the charts and became a cultural phenomenon. Olivia Rodrigo's name was on everyone's lips. She had turned her heartache into a powerhouse anthem, and the world was Olivia listening. Rodrigo, that was amazing. Wow. But this was just the beginning of her journey from Disney star to pop sensation. As Olivia Rodrigo's star continued to rise, so did the drama that seemed to follow her every move. Her debut EPSOUR dropped like a bombshell captivating hearts and igniting controversies. The tracks on S.O.U.R. were more than just songs. They were glimpses into Olivia's world. Her emotions laid bare for all to see. The album's success was a testament to her ability to connect with audiences on a deeply personal level. Yet, where there's success, there's envy. As S.O.U.R. skyrocketed on the charts, whispers of rivalries and feuds swirled. Pundits speculated on hidden meanings in her lyrics, dissecting every line for potential targets. The music industry, it seemed, couldn't get enough of the drama surrounding Olivia's journey. With each new track that climbed the charts, Olivia Rodrigo's presence became even more inescapable. The pop world was caught in the whirlwind of her emotions, and fans were hooked on every twist and turn. As we move forward in Olivia's captivating narrative, the stakes are higher, the spotlight brighter, and the anticipation for what's next at an all-time high. Olivia Rodrigo's love life added tabloid intrigue, fueling speculation. Good for you. You release heightened curiosity as its cryptic lyrics sparked rumors. The song blurred the lines between art and truth, captivating listeners with Olivia's storytelling prowess. In an interview, she said, we wanted to take an early 2000s pop punk song and sort of twist it and find a way to make it 2021. I hope people are surprised Rodrigo said at the time of the song's release, I love pop punk music. I love grunge music. I love country music and folk music. I think, honestly, you can see little influences of all of those genres in my album. Social media played a significant role. With 14.5 million followers, Olivia shown on Instagram and TikTok. TikTok especially became a hotbed for her music. Good For You went viral, its relatable lyrics and catchy melodies igniting a TikTok frenzy and solidifying Olivia's online presence. But what happened next? As the chapters of Olivia's life unfold, prepare for more action at her life journey. With Olivia Rodrigo's journey unfurling, Anticipation surged for her album Guts to claim the spotlight. Enigmatic teasers on social media heightened curiosity, turning fans into sleuths decoding hints. Daily, excitement built, reaching a crescendo online. The world awaited the album's release, eager to witness Olivia's evolution and uncover the stories within. Do you experience issues trusting your gut in matters of love and work? Do you ever hate your own guts? Well, then here's the product for you. Guts promised a fresh chapter, 
exemplified by the haunting track Vampire. Speculation swirled around its lyrics, potentially referencing producer ex-boyfriend Adam Faze. The twist continued with Olivia's romance journey. Music executive Zach Bia emerged as a significant figure. Their whirlwind romance sparked at a Super Bowl after party, intrigued many. Amid the sour tour, Zach cheered Olivia on in New York, stealing moments for a date. However, as summer neared, rumors of a split circulated. Olivia and Zach reportedly parted ways in August 2021, leaving fans curious about her next romantic chapter. With guts set for September 2023 release, the world waited in breathless anticipation. Approaching the album's pivotal drop, an electric atmosphere enveloped Olivia Rodrigo's journey. Fans readied themselves for music that would undoubtedly make an indelible mark. In Olivia Rodrigo's journey, a new musical path emerged, captivating audiences and critics. From her debut single to S.O.U.R., she seamlessly blended genres, captivating with heartfelt ballads and energetic anthems. Olivia Rodrigo's live performances have transformed into vibrant celebrations and moments of collective catharsis. Whether you're belting out the soaring notes of driver's license with your best friends or energetically rocking to the pop-punk anthem good for you, her concerts offer a truly special experience. And for the fortunate few, these shows hold an additional surprise and unexpected guest. From Lily Allen at Glastonbury to Avery Levine in Toronto, Rodrigo has thrilled her audience with electrifying on-stage collaborations throughout her tour dates. As we anticipate the release of her second album, Guts, in September this year, there's hope for upcoming live shows to support her new record. In the meantime, let's take a moment to reflect on some of Olivia Rodrigo's most memorable on-stage collaborations. Whispers of celebrity collaborations sparked speculation would Guts feature surprising partnerships. Olivia's creative journey extended beyond the studio. Her passion for football emerged as she declared herself a Chelsea FC fan, attending her first match at Stamford Bridge. An interaction with Chelsea defender Ben Chilwell made waves, symbolizing the intersection of two worlds. Olivia unveiled more intrigue in May 2022, sharing her experience with synesthesia, a phenomenon triggering vivid sensory responses. Hearing music or words generated visual colors and shapes, adding another layer to her artistry. Each step pushed Olivia's creativity, challenging industry norms. Anticipation for her next move peaked intensifying the guts countdown. Olivia's narrative reminded us it's about artistic evolution, unexpected partnerships, and forging a fearless path in the music world. Olivia Rodrigo's highly anticipated album Guts debuted, igniting the music world with its power and vulnerability. As the album resonated, fans and critics grappled with its aftermath. Sky-high expectations met reality Olivia's evolution from Disney star to chart topper shone through. Themes, lyrics, and melodies sparked conversations across social media, leaving an indelible mark on pop culture. Olivia's journey remained forward-facing, evident in her second album Guts, crafted with live performances in mind. Her artistic growth was nurtured by personal inspirations, notably Taylor Swift. Olivia's passion for songwriting, ignited by Swift's country compositions, began early and persisted as her own star rose. Her journey into songwriting started young. At 12, she penned emotional lyrics, finding solace in creative expression. Her impact on the industry was undeniable as guts echoed worldwide. 
The question lingered, what's next for Olivia? From the Disney stage to the heart of the music world, Olivia Rodrigo's journey is a captivating saga that continues to unfold. Her story is one of transformation, passion, and unapologetic authenticity. With each chapter, Olivia has shattered expectations, challenged norms, and redefined what it means to be an artist in the modern era. From heartbreak anthems to stadium-shaking performances, her narrative is a testament to the power of vulnerability and the strength that comes from embracing one's true self. As Olivia Rodrigo's journey continues, we can only imagine the twists, turns, and surprises that await. The story is far from over, and the world eagerly awaits the next verse in this extraordinary tale.